YouTube video, we have a super special unboxing that I am literally so excited about. So Briar actually sent me one of next year's 2024 Stablemate Club models, and we're going to unbox it for the very first time together, and uh, I'm just so excited. So before we dive into unboxing this guy, first off, we gotta go over the Stablemate Club. Obviously, you can't unbox a Stablemate model and not know about the Stablemate Club. To join us in learning about the Stablemate Club is I have my very first Stablemate Club purchase ever and also the very first Stablemate in any Stablemate Club. This is Primrose. She is on the G1 Quarter Horse Mare Mold and y'all this is like literally my favorite Stablemate. She's adorable. She's actually traveled with me to go get some pictures of her like on the beach and everything. I have been in the Stablemate Club since it opened. I think there was only like one year that I missed out on but Primrose was actually the very first one ever which is so cool y'all like ah, oh, my fangirl every time I look at her she's absolutely adorable so one of my absolute favorite things about the stable mate club is that they actually bring back some of the vintage molds to make the stable mates on just like this g1 mold right here y'all generation one stable mates are just ah, so cute and a little fun fact about all of the stable mate club model horses is the fact that they are all hand painted which is so amazing y'all could you imagine painting something this tiny i've painted a stable mate before it did not go well <laughs> that's okay all of these molds are sculpted by people in the hobby y'all look at could, like okay painting something this small is hard enough could you imagine sculpting something this small how do pe people are so talented and Briar does such a fantastic job of picking the molds that are gonna be used for the stable mate club another thing that I am a huge fan about is all of these little tiny horses have such big personalities all of the molds that Briar picks for these stable mates are so expressive like as you can see Primrose looks like she's pawing at the ground just having an absolutely fantastic fantastic time. Her face is so cute. It just looks like she's really enjoying the time in the pasture. Maybe she's playing in a stream or if you're anything like my horses that I own in real life, she's playing in the mud for sure. So how do you join the Stablemate Club? To join the Stablemate Club, you do have to be in the Collector Club itself. From there, you can join the Stablemate Club. I am always in the Stablemate Club. It is one of my favorite clubs ever. Once you're in the Stablemate Club, there are six releases every single year with one special release, which which is so much fun. Every single stable mate is $15. The special release this year was $20. So there's really not much of a price difference in them. So this club is honestly the best way to add some affordable, beautifully handcrafted model horses to your collection. And y'all, they are all so unique. I do not have a stable mate club model that looks like any other stable mate club model. They are all so well thought out. Briar does a fantastic job with all of these little tiny ponies. Now a little bit about the six releases releases that happen kind of seven in the stablemate club every single year is that there's always a split run between a glossy and a matte one and y'all I know I'm not normally a glossy fan but glossy stablemates they just hit different they are so cute in miniature and in gloss it makes their colors pop and they just look amazing on the shelves not only do they have the split run they also have a decorator and the decorator stablemates that Briar makes are so gorgeous y'all I have so many decorator stablemates because they're just so perfect. The colors and the patterns that Briar picks for them are literally just mind-boggling. They're gorgeous. And this year we are getting a brand new sculpt from Sarah Mink and it's a little draft horse and his name is Augustus and y'all draft horses are my weakness. I am gonna need an army of Augustus. He is so cute. And one of my favorite parts of the Stablemate Club is that every single year they do a gambler's choice. I get so excited for the surprise horses at Briarfest because that's gambler's choice. So when they added the gambler's choice to the Stablemates Club, I was like, what? Yes! Finally! It is so much fun. You get to hunt down the horses that you really want. You get to get surprised as to which ones you end up with. It is amazing. I love the gambler's choice. All right, now that we've gone over all of the information about the Stablemate Club, let us go ahead and unbox. <clears throat> let us go ahead and unbox a Stablemate for the 2024 Stablemate Club. Now this guy is actually going to be named Newport. I'm gonna give you all a close up of the box and then we'll unbox it. All right, here is a close up of that adorable blue and white box that the stablemates are gonna come in for 2024. Look at how cool this stamp is, y'all. <laughs> That's amazing. 
These boxes are just like the traditional boxes that the traditional models get shipped in, just smaller. Everything is adorable and miniature. You can't tell me that it's not. All right, now that we've had a close up of Newport's box, let's go ahead and open them. Got my trusty scissors. I'm gonna just very carefully cut this open. I'm so excited to see what he looks like. Like y'all don't even know. The hype is real. Are you guys ready to see Newport? Inside of the Collector Club box, you get this adorable little tiny briar box that looks just like the traditional ones. And then you take it out and here's Newport. Oh my. packaging and y'all need a close-up of this right now like words cannot describe how cute these boxes are I get so excited every time I see them these are just adorable so let's get a close-up of this right now all right here's a look at that little tiny window box and y'all these are so cute I swear if you shrink anything down into miniature it's just significantly cuter so here is Newport in the box we'll get a closer look at her in a second so don't worry I just wanted to give you all a little overview of what these little boxes look like it is just like the traditional boxes. Oh, look how cute this is. Look at this. It says Stablemate Collector Club 2024. It gives you some information and even has some of the old models. Ah, it's so cute. But just like the traditional sized window boxes, only tiny and super adorable. The fact that Briar makes everything for the Stablemates that they make for the traditionals, it's just smaller, makes it like significantly cuter. I don't know why. I know that some people have like collections of these boxes and I kind of want to as well. All right, let's go ahead and open a new port. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. <laughs> She is actually a mare. Surprise! I love mares. I feel like we never get enough of them. So shout out to Briar for making this little lady a mare. But she is so gorgeous, y'all. So she is hand painted to be this beautiful dappled bay. Like when you get the close up, you're gonna see the dapples and be like, <laughs> she is so pretty. She's got the roached mane. She's got the braided tail for her polo match with Briar's blue and yellow in her tail. She has a blaze down her face and only one little sock in the back. So she's like kind of all business up front and party in the back. Heck yes, queen. The expression on her face is gorgeous, y'all. Oh my goodness. You need a close up of this little lady right now. So let's do it. Here is the little tiny Newport. And y'all, let me just say I am obsessed with this little lady. So if you can't tell, she's actually the G2 thoroughbred mold, but just with the roached mane and the little tiny braided tail. So we do actually already have some horses on this mold. I will do some size comparisons with other ponies though, just because I know people love those. So right now we're gonna grab a quick overview of her. Look at that sassy little face. This is actually one of my absolute favorite stable mate molds is the little thoroughbred mold. I have a, a cute little conga on it, but here we get to see that little blaze with her sassy little expression. Her ears are to the side as she listens to her rider while they go play some polo. Here is that roached mane and you can see just some of that subtle dappling on her barrel and on her flank. Oh, so pretty. As we work our way down, she's beautifully shaded. So her chocolate bay coat slowly fades into those black legs and you can see in that back right there, she does have one little white sock and then like we saw, second ago her tail is braided in the briar colors of blue and yellow what a beautiful little touch here is that head on shot of oh whoa here is that head on shot of her with that gorgeous little blaze. She does have some pinking on her nose. Y'all, this is such a little lady to have this much detail. Oh my gosh. And then here is her off side. She does have eye whites. I don't know if y'all saw that a second ago on the other side, but she does have eye whites to give her a little bit more expression, which I adore. Look at her, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, and her hoof is striping too. The amount of detail is so crazy. And then it's not a full overview if we don't get that booty shot. So there you go, here she is from the back and then as always all of the little stable mates have their raised briar stamp on the stomach look at her little face i'm obsessed all right so there's the overview of newport now let's go grab her some friends 
All right, here we have Newport with some little stablemate friends and oh no, please ignore how dusty he is. And she is the same mold as that guy right there, but we'll get to that in a second. So she is obviously smaller than the standing ponies. Here she is next to the shrunken down smart chick mold. Oh, so cute. Next to Primrose, one of my favorite stable mates. And here she is next to my stable mate, Justify. They are the same mold, but as you can tell, her head has been tucked in a little bit. She's got the roached mane and her tail is braided. Okay, so when I first opened her, I did not put two and two together because she looks so different with all of the adjustments that Briar gave her. Like, look at this. That is so cool. They look so different. I cannot wait to see what everybody does with her. She's gonna be the perfect little performance stable mate of her. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Hopefully y'all enjoyed your close up of this little lady. Newport is so gorgeous. Like I know I said Primrose was my favorite stable mate a second ago, but uh, it's gonna be Newport. She is so gorgeous and like, I'm obsessed with her face. She is the cutest little face ever. If y'all would like to add Newport and some other really amazing stable mates to your herd, be sure to check out the Stable Mate Club for 2024. You are still able to join the Stable Mate Club and being the most affordable club there is, it is $30 to join. Like I said earlier, every model is $15, but this year's special edition model was $20, but again, not really that big of a price difference, it's $5. I know that every single one of the Stable Mate Club models that I have, I absolutely cherish. They are so adorable. They are so much fun to be able to make tack for, take on photo shoots, make videos with. Stable Mates are just so adorable that like every time I look at them, I get so excited. I probably should buy another Stable Mate shelf because I am like running out of room and they're a little unorganized right now, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's actually gonna be the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did, please go ahead and slap that like button as hard as you possibly can. Show this YouTube video and Newport a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I've been posting some heckin' fun reels on there recently, and you should definitely go check them out. I want to give a huge thank you to Briar for giving me this opportunity to unbox Newport for y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, I am literally obsessed with her, and I cannot wait for the Stablemate Club next year. If you've never been a Stable Mate Club member, I highly recommend joining the Stable Mate Club. It is always one of my favorite clubs. It's very affordable. It's only six models. It's only $30 to join, and every single one is hand painted, sculpted by somebody in the hobby. An exclusive little pony that you're gonna be able to have forever with a gorgeous little expression on their face, a sassy little expressive pose. Y'all, I am obsessed with Stable Mates. You can never have too many. Also, they're a lot easier to store than any other model horse scale. So highly recommend joining this club. The lineup for the 2024 Stableway Club is so amazing. I am literally so excited. So don't miss your opportunity to join because these guys on the secondhand market are pretty expensive. So it is actually cheaper to be in the club and get them than not. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. And other than that, y'all, I should probably reorganize my shelves and dust my ponies because some of them are pretty dirty. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you, Briar. Mm -hmm.